What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so those of you that have watched videos up to this point uh, know that about a month ago I put uh, idler pulleys and a belt on my car for a squeaking noise that I had. Um, about a month, uh, about a week ago, driving the car and I go to stop to make a left turn and when I hit the brake, there's no brake boost assist. And I'm like, hmm, that's weird. As I go to make the turn, there's no power steering assist, and I look down at my gauges, and my uh, battery light's on. So, my brain goes to, okay, the belt came off, because all of that stuff is belt-driven. Um, come home, start pulling things apart to inspect, the belt completely came apart, like, shredded into pieces. Uh, actually, let me show you what's left of it. That right there is what's left of the belt at this point in time. <laughs> Um, I don't know what caused it. The idler pulleys that I replaced and the, uh, are free spinning. There's, they're not locked up. They don't feel like they have any hesitation or like bad spots in the pulley, their bearing or anything like that. The AC compressor spins freely and the power steering pump spins freely. Alternator spins freely. Nothing feels locked up on that side of things. The belt tensioner and the water pump are both locked up partially, but they're locked up because there's uh, shreds of belt material stuck in them. The water pump it's stuck in behind the where the front pulley mounts and then the tensioner it's stuck in where it mounts to the swing arm to adjust. So I'm replacing the tensioner and the water pump today just because of the belt material stuck behind that stuff and I tried and cannot get it out. I really don't know what happened so I'm hoping that there's not another problem and that it was like possibly the tensioner that locked up and once it cooled down it was free or possibly the water pump itself is locked up as well it's kind of hard to tell like i said because there's a lot of belt material stuck in there so it feels really rough and notchy but there's belt in there so we're gonna get the water pump and tensioner replaced today and hope and pray that there ain't nothing else wrong with this so let's get to it All right, so getting into this, this is on, like I said, it's on my Mach 1. Uh, you're gonna have to take the air cleaner off again. Those have, that has uh, the two tens in the side of it that I took off last time to get through the belt stuff. Uh, two tens, it's sitting on these rubber grommets here. Uh, you pop it off those rubber grommets, pop the um, fresh air duct over to the air box out of the air box itself and set it off to the side. Uh, you're gonna take your belt off, that's a clockwise untension to take the belt off obviously mine was already off so made my life a little bit easier um four bolts that hold the pulley on here are 13s uh i had used a power tool to knock them off it makes it a lot easier because you can just kind of hold the pulley and just use the the impacting part of like an electric ratchet to knock it off if you don't have that you're probably better off if you are dealing with this you know not in the same situation i am where the belt has come off if your belt is still on breaking all these bolts loose while your belt's still on is probably going to be your best bet uh it just it's there's something they're holding your belt from or holding your pulley from turning so break all those loose take your belt off pull your pulley off and then when you get in here there's four bolts to hold the water pump on you can see one two three and the fourth one is down here once you get your uh bolts off you're either going to want to try to pry in along here where the pump mounts or i'm going to try to knock it off with a hammer i'm hoping that's going to work so we'll see old water pump is out it took me knocking it back and forth a couple times with the hammer and get it out but it it worked for what i needed it to um these are your parts that i actually got these parts from advanced auto parts just because it was local and it was easy for me to get the stuff quickly uh 
I, one note that I wanted to tell you when you're going to put your new water pump back in, this thing has an O-ring around the outside edge of it. Before you put the new O-ring in, uh, lube it up. With I use um, texture transmission assembly grease. You can use petroleum jelly, wheel bearing grease, anything like that. Just lube it up so that when it goes in there, it doesn't tear the seal going back into the motor. All right, guys, got everything put back together. Uh, like I said in the beginning, putting the pulley back on, putting those bolts down, like, hand tight. Uh, those are tens. Put the tensioner back on. Put the belt on and then tighten those bolts down that hold that pulley on with the belt holding the pulley from spinning. Uh, put my hood scoop back on, two tens in through the side. These hoses right here just pop off. They they don't have anything holding them on. They just push on the, the their connections there. And then snap this piece back in uh topped up the coolant ran it up to operating temp i don't have any leaks and i don't seem to have any other problems there's no noises no you know obviously the belt's still on there so like i said in the beginning of the video i don't really know what happened but i guess only time will tell whether or not it's fixed and whether or not i have another problem i don't drive the car that much it's a weekend toy so it might be a little while before i actually know what's wrong with it um if you guys have any comments or questions about this uh please comment down below uh, i'd appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys later